Donald Trump has won the battleground state of Georgia, the one-time Republican stronghold that had voted for Democrats four years ago. Along with his win in North Carolina, Trump has narrowed Kamala Harris's pathways to victory and expanded his routes to reaching the 270 electoral votes needed to become the next president. The victory left Harris heavily reliant on the Blue Wall of Michigan, Pennsylvania and Wisconsin to have a credible path to the White House. A second battleground state has now been called for Donald Trump. The AP says Donald Trump is the winner in Georgia, getting its 16 electoral votes. That comes after Trump was also declared the winner of North Carolina's 16 electoral votes. That sent the crowd that had gathered at a Kamala Harris party here in Washington fleeing for the exits. Now, her campaign chair came out and told people there are still too many races, too close to call, too many votes to count, and that the vice president would not appear. All those words eerily similar to one spoken at Hillary Clinton's 2016 party before she lost to Donald Trump. The Harris campaign says she will address the nation later. Donald Trump was set to address his supporters in Florida. Voters started arriving at polling stations in New York early on Tuesday to decide whether to send Donald Trump back to the White House or elevate Kamala Harris to the Oval Office. One station was set up at Brooklyn Museum for the U.S. election vote. Other voting locations also opened across the nation on Tuesday morning as voters faced a stark choice between two candidates who have offered drastically different temperaments and visions for the world's largest economy and dominant military power. Harris, the Democratic vice president, stands to be the first female president if elected. She has promised to work across the aisle to tackle economic worries and other issues without radically departing from the course set by President Joe Biden. Trump, the Republican former president, has vowed to replace thousands of federal workers with loyalists, impose sweeping tariffs on allies and foes alike, and stage the largest deportation operation in U.S. history. North Carolina voters began heading to the polls early on Tuesday to decide whether to send Donald Trump back to the White House or elevate Kamala Harris to the Oval Office. Voters were seen casting their ballot for the U.S. election at one station in Black Mountain. North Carolina is one of seven closely watched swing states that could give its electoral votes to either Trump or Harris. Other voting locations also opened across the nation on Tuesday morning as voters faced a stark choice between two candidates who have offered drastically different temperaments and visions for the world's largest economy and dominant military power. Harris, the Democratic vice president, stands to be the first female president if elected. She has promised to work across the aisle to tackle economic worries and other issues without radically departing from the course set by President Joe Biden. 
Trump, the Republican former president, has vowed to replace thousands of federal workers with loyalists, impose sweeping tariffs on allies and foes alike, and stage the largest deportation operation in U.S. history. Thank you.